Hi, good morning, guys. So we'll be looking at today reckoning versus chill call. We'll try to see how both teams play. What are the playing patterns, and we'll sort of try to analyze as much as we can find out. Okay. Uh, starting with the pistol round, uh, we can see a very standard comp sort of coming in from uh, reckoning, which is the meta comp. Uh, and then from chill card, uh, they have neon and sky in the line so it has to be a more aggressive sort of a play with the team um, whereas uh, reckoning will be more you know manipulative one uh, we can see from the comp okay starting uh, we have chamber alone a uh, heavy presence c garage uh, probably some kind of read or just a just a way of playing okay straight up contacting c long no utility coming up the pull comes on time stops any kind of push buys time for the rotation from the reckoning uh they still go in okay so the stun comes in on the right the stun comes in on the right the nade back of sight and we're just getting space from neon to come back as you could see the smoke in the garage is also on time so the flash comes in back of sight but again uh, gets punished because reckoning had reckoning had a pretty good setup for this again they had four players uh, around so one uh, the other one was garage the other one was here basically supporting c only so as soon as the pull comes in it bought time for reckoning to um it bought time for reckoning to pull out the rotations and come in time on site to help their teammates so a pretty simple round from um from both teams again pretty standard chillcott just had a plan following it uh did not expect four people to be around as you can see, um, now, oh yeah, so l let's look at the let's look at the buy. Okay, four specters, um, probably using his headhunter, and then here it's a full eco. But again, one sheriff, Cliff buying sheriff. Uh, it would be it would be interesting to see if it hampers his buy next round or not. Yeah. Okay, so just a standard setup, uh, Astra alone C, Fade playing on Garage Info, Siege slowed them down, um, a trip here, Chamber uh, Breach looking at the cross, uh, you give space to Chamber watching the cross, rotation comes in and now three, four people can be surrounding Garage and B. So a smoke comes in to save themselves from the dart, it is done so that you could get in a quick plant, it's an eco round anyway. Uh, but RG punishes it very well, very well done by uh, by the breach to sort of have an aftershock, raise satchels up, tries to get the kill because you know that the smoker, anyone won't be able to support this far. Um, again, very good round. So they have chamber sit long, he's watching the cross, the rotation comes in and then you can have four people surrounding B and garage. If you leave uh, C Astra because he's continuously jiggle peeking, getting info. So you can literally have three people around B and garage with also the trip. So it's a pretty powerful setup. Um, they lose one gun, and I don't think Rays would be buying it. They would they would play bonus this round, um, and yeah. So because because Sky bought Sheriff, we could very we we could see that this round he will not be able to buy full armor because of him being Sky. He need to invest in the utility, which is which becomes very important, right? So yeah. So uh, again, this is a very important point to notice. Uh, he bought Sheriff, and he has to go half armor. Let's see if uh it it changes the round in some way or not and um so because because bad love would have his sheriff right a head hunter so he passes on the specter to the race so good team are coming in here next round it's an easy buy but if chilcott loses this they would not be able to buy next round um again the pre pretty okay so because it's a bonus round they have uh they have sort of these uh, um did I, did I just see a last moment by there? Okay, so again, uh, you have Spectres, you play together as much. Oh, wait. This was interesting. Oh, was it just a walk alone? Okay, the Siege Nade combo comes in long. They take space, long space. They know there was no long. So there's a push coming in from the A side. And very interestingly, at the same time, they decide to push mid probably expecting them to be distracted on a long and no one coming in this early though it, the, he has nailed the timing in sort of coming in to sit here but a bit slow and the speak just 
yeah, he expects that. Yeah, he expects that push. Uh, probably some read or maybe just a check. But yeah, um, after this pick, they have the whole A control. Let's see how far do they go. What do they? What do these three decide to do? And how do they play it? Uh, on the hand, Chilkov's reaction is okay. Um, th there's there's a massive A push. Someone pushed B, so B should probably be empty. Uh, one player just holding any kind of C push coming in. No one is holding garage right at this moment. If you could see. That could be an issue um, uh, because they never checked garage. I feel okay. So beautiful check, and you have the whole A side. Now these three are pushing A. The spike is still window. Now this could be immense. This could be immense. The spike is still window, guys. And uh, oh shit, Omen dies in C long. Okay, let's see. Any any kind of damage that R RG does is like win win for them. So do they go close? Oh, pretty much. Okay, they lose two guns and armor, half an armor, uh, a full armor. So they'll have to repurchase this. Now let's see what the buyer looks like. Again, a good eco round by RG, but so so the philosophy was okay but but the thing is that if you have three players playing a right and you're pushing a you have the whole a control you have trip here you do not need to push at the same time i get it it's it's more of a surprise factor but if you think about it because so much because you're putting so much pressure on this area right if you're you're putting pressure so much on this area so the uh, the opponent team will obviously going to be more dedicated towards looking at these areas right they will they, they will not they will not just be looking at a so the timing uh, obviously was was pretty bad in terms of any child but it is pretty sure that the team is going to show a heavy clear in these areas after that round so uh, i guess i guess after after you deny a that heavily you could have a passive setter somewhere else you can give them space so that they lead to you right so probably uh probably a setup crossfire like this or probably a crossfire up down Th they could be like multiple um, multiple ways to set this up right um in garage in there so uh, I, I mean i mean um s just a small thing but a big thing so uh, luckily this half armor did not matter could have if if RG could have played uh, the setup a little better, but again, pretty good round by. Okay, so a pretty good round by both the teams. I guess a good good eco. So now coming in, we could see if buy on both sides. Uh, two specters on the side of chill cord. Uh, so a flash comes in. Uh, just to show some kind of pressure after the flash the stun comes in but they're continuously watching long so they know that there's no cross we should see a rotation come anytime soon uh astra again jiggle peeking c long whereas operator is also holding up so it's just a bait jiggle peek but i think they have left b and garage both sort of pretty heavily so they might break the tip the smoke comes in the trips gets broken as soon as the trip breaks we should see a rotation come in any soon yes um the fade is responsible for holding a long and Okay, so, so the thing is that this peak is a little early because if you think about it, not enough pressure has been shown, right? Especially because you have shown pressure in garage. So there is a high probability that they are expecting you to do a C split at any point of time, right? So if, you're exp if the opponents are expecting you to do a C split, then what happens is that obviously there was there is going to be one person who is continuously going to hold C long be it an opera be it a vandal doesn't matter right one person will obviously hold C consistently where the other one could hold garage and all that stuff so uh, this peak is a little early if you see because they have the garage control they have sort of the B cross the only question mark that reckoning has is right here or I wouldn't even say it a question mark because reckoning has a good read that they are in this area right so uh, I feel that C long peak was a little early but now let's see the reaction that comes in from um, from chill court because now they they've swatted the upper C and they broke the garage strip so now they have to retake garage again which makes sense why, why the chamber is sort of why, why these guys are going forward to garage again because they're expecting okay after that pick uh, reckoning might rotate but again RG is playing it pretty well one holding garage one holding b one holding c everyone holding their 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 respective sides right so th they're playing well together uh now getting up garage they're trying to take the city space this duel has is very important guys okay okay so just a small okay a small mistake but a big mistake you could call it i get it you want to do a contact play but if you want to do a contact play you have to you have to 
you have to have two guys speak together, right? If you do not want to flash and you want to peek directly. Now the, look at the spacing, right? So one player here is here and one player is here. Now because of the spacing issue, because of the spacing issue, one player just peeks alone. After the after he gets the kill, then the flash comes in, which doesn't make sense because now he has already had the pick and he'll fall back and he doesn't have to fight anymore uh, and just wait for his team to come back, right? So you obviously you get denied there and you go garage flash comes in pretty very good very well done out coming outside the garage that flash was very important to take the upper out so uh, good util usage the smoker is dead so they have to pay outside now uh, it's going to be pretty important they see chamber outside still just covering the planter now because they know that smoker is alive they cannot go see or whatever they might they might they might play inside or in garage the spike is down they take space garage which is a very good decision by chill card right uh, so if you take you take space against them right and sort of fight them garage whoever and you could basically do the spread whenever you want so a very good so very good decision making sort of by uh, chill card right here um, playing together the failure comes in now okay this is important the failure failure doesn't spot anyone um anyone on site so they're expecting them to be c long uh, the way they are running yes they're expecting them to be c long and one pick scale. so they know at least that two player are there um in garage so the the tap comes in see they're expecting them all to be long no like they're having only one playing a uh, garage so this is very very good very well done by sort of chill card they nailed it when they went garage right um oof. the lineup comes in the reload comes in and sort of uh Sky goes long, they're watching long continuously. It's it's too much to ask, yeah. Yeah. Uh, very well done by Chilcott, sort of the decision to go the decision to go garage. This lineup was pretty unlucky. It was also a good decision by the sky to go long and to surprise them. Um so well done by both teams here. Uh, just that Reckoning could have cleared garage way better than what they did. Um because you cannot just assume that if they are all C-long, right? You have to clear garage at every point of time. And that could have punished them pretty well. A very good decision for Chilkot to go back. Sky's decision to go long was also pretty good. So, unlucky that they both got lined up. But, yeah. Good lineup. This peak was a little early. Uh, but, apart from that, a good round by both the teams. This was a mistake too. Okay, so eco round comes in from from Chilcot. Uh, as you could see, there are four sheriffs, some armors here, and uh, obviously we have the chambers alt. So again, reckoning takes a control, leaves chamber here. Ray should be rotating anytime soon. We see. Um, yep, the rotation comes in. Then two people C, which is pretty interesting by RG. You know, usually what happens is Astra holds C alone. So this is a good change up by sort of. Uh, Reckoning, they're like, okay, we are gonna leave garage on trip, right? We are gonna take control by three people of A, deny A, and one pair is gonna just watch the B cross, and then the person, the other second person on A can rotate and help these other guys. So pretty standard setup. The only change is two people playing C, which usually is not required, honestly. Uh, but but okay, uh, they have a set plan. So the stun comes in. The stun is trying to stun the person if someone is speaking from long or default and also gets back of sight so pretty good stun by chill cord but there's no reaction that comes in off the stun right oh yeah okay so it's a mistiming right okay so it's mistiming guys i mean if you think about it uh, the stun comes in now right so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Okay, so uh, around around seven seconds, uh, the stun is not coordinated with the other utility, um, which is sort of a mistake. You want to do everything alone. Uh, so the, the neon stun comes in, the flash comes in for the back of sight. Um, also, a reveal comes in by the reckoning to help their teammate. Oh, so he's, he's basically revealed it from C only, just to give him space, time to sort of settle down and the opponents to be worried about. Uh, again, this is an eco round, so we wouldn't watch that much. Ryo just tries to take a kill. He sees that's an eco. Long comes in. Neon is also dead. Yeah, uh, I mean, uh, could could have could have been a little better. The the timing for the utility all, if coordinated together, could have made them win. Because I don't even see. Are they just trying to make a contact play out of here? 
Okay, so the blind comes in, the smokes are not there on city, that is why raise and breach can very easily sort of come. And I think he gets spammed, yeah, he gets unlucky. He was probably smoking and he gets spammed in the city. So, unlucky round, eco round, we won't like dig in so much. So, till now what we've seen is that Chilcord likes to sort of do these standard split plays. They like to play together, they don't show sort of much in terms of faking and all that stuff uh, again they just showed some presence along uh, by flashing it but nothing more than that so interesting and the only time that the only time that they flashed the only till now when they flashed long they never went a and it was always sort of just to create pressure interesting to note but somehow he gets two picks okay <laughs> what no way no Oh my god. In insane by how did how did he get these kills? Does Reckoning just speak them? Oh okay, one pick gets off. Let's see how Reckoning plays it. Okay, the stun comes in. Perfect, you're trying to deny, you know the spike is long. One player holding large, one player holding eh? Okay now it's correct. Let's see how these both play. Who peaks first? Who has the more... Who loses the patience first? Okay, they're not. They're playing it very well. They're not peaking him at all. They know how difficult it could be. Oh my god. Okay, they played well, both uh, Venga did insane to get these picks and he he keeps the economy in control, right? They do not survive, uh, only one player survives and because of that reason they have to go half armor and look at their economy, it's not that well, only 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 two players will, three players will be able to rebuy and if you look at the side of Chilcord, only one player would be able to re re rebuy after the buy. So very well economy damaged by Venka. There's still a chance for them to recover this. So let's see how Chilcord plays. Okay, this is a pretty good stack. If you look at by, um, by reckoning, they are predicting they might have some read that usually after the after the eco round, Chilcord goes B or Garage heavy. Okay, they leave chamber to just. Uh, watch along with the operator because they have realized that Chilcord is not showing any kind of pressure A, they're not con contesting it and that is the reason why they're very comfortable in leaving Chamber alone, even if the flash comes in he can re with his uh, and sort of is pretty pretty well um, with his uh, bot here, right and at the, same uh, at the same time he has his TP here so he's ready to immediately rotate if aggressive pressure comes in from Chilcord uh, uh, on the side of Reckoning, they have a good stack Ooh. Was there a timeout? Wait. <laughs> okay, so it's a raise. Okay, so it's a raise alt setup by Reckoning. Pretty, uh, pr a pr pretty. Uh, it's a, it's a good setup. Sort of. If you have the read that Chilcott does this after their eco round, then it's a good setup. If not, um, I'm not. I'm not too sure. Uh, because you know. Yeah, I get it, Chilcord have been showing this pressure. But what happens is, as soon as the stun comes in, and they hear the raise out, they're immediately gonna split out, right? So this is enough to create space, but the issue is that if you create space here, like if you if you deny them this, right, you are so unsafe in these positions, until and unless your team comes with you, right, then you have to go back, and Chilcord or the opponent team or the attackers can very easily take the space back by using one one utility, literally a skydog, right? So, uh, okay, let's see how he handles this. So smoke window, he'll probably sit here, and Chilcord should be expecting this, honestly, because that's the only, that's the only way how you could uh, how you could do this if you are alone until and unless your team comes with you. Okay, let's see reaction by Chilcord. They are taking too much time to take it back. They are waiting that wa waiting to see any kind of reaction comes in. Uh, he he's expecting this. Yeah, he's he's hundred percent expecting this. Um, now Chilcord knows what's happening around. Okay, so for him to react in some way, Chilcord needs to show presence somewhere else, right? And that is what C Long guys are going to do. So that this guy does something, you need to show presence either here or either here, right? So that you could pull out some rotations. Now, after the early setup, Astra goes back. How do they how do they deal with this? Okay, so one peaks from the right so that left one is not expected. 
very very well done by very well done by uh, chilcott okay so what they do is look very carefully okay so he calls sky oh he just spams there is it oh i think i think deadly gave a call that he just jump peeking from the window so he spams that and now he gets quiet so they don't expect oh you know what i thought i thought that i thought that sky peeked from this side just a jiggle peek so that they don't don't expect chamber there but anyway it worked out well they thought no one is window now right i guess yeah yeah rio just comes out a little okay why, why, why do you why would you prowl on this just to fake that ray is not there hmm I'm not too sure about this prowler. Uh, prowler was wasn't needed. You already have good map control, and uh, it's all it's one minute on the clock. You don't need that heavy an info. Yeah, Chilcott is handling this very well. They know that some mid aggression. Now the dog comes in. Would push yeah this spot this spot raised, but it smoked off. Clearing the window again. Cleared that space. Now um ooh see. That's the that's the thing, right? Because Chamber is holding long alone, and he sees no one even cross or not show any presence. They clear this. They clear mid. They know that the, the because Chilcott knows there is B there, and Ch and Breach is holding garage. Their immediate reaction will be to go C, and that is why you could see Ray so confidently rotating C. So always when you do this, you have to you have to. Take this guy out of the angle. Yeah, too much of yeah. I mean, it, it's just very difficult now because they have the stack. It's still doable though. Three v four. Uh, three v four. <laughs> oh my god! He just goes up and he gets this insane kill. Okay, so Archie is heaven. Actually, looks pretty good. I mean, they are following all the. All the problem, all the probable steps that they have to write. Uh, I mean, if you if you think about it, they're leaving they're leaving one A, holding it alone. Chil Chilcord, okay. After this timeout, I want to see Chilcord punishing this A control. They need to take this A control so that such a heavy stack is not on the B and C side, right? If you if you do not want to do it early round because reckoning is fighting it so badly then uh, waiting a few seconds is defaulting a little bit we want we want to sort of we want to sort of get some utility uh, out in terms of sky dog or probably a flash whatever but you need to take this guy out of the angle so that not just one guy is watching a alone right that's the that's the first thing that they have to do oh yeah my bad Okay, so okay, let's see what change. Okay, it's an eco round. So interestingly, will Chilcott change something up? I think they they might be looking to change it next round. So so they're okay. So they're walking in mid. Uh, again, reckoning following their basic setup, leaving one A, uh, rotating others to B and C. A lot of marks come in. The smoke comes in garage. Walk in. They might break the garage now. After the trip breaks up, we should see the rotation coming in from B. Uh, a very deep smoke on the side of Recting, so that no one can very uh, like no one can just come out of the smoke because the opera is holding it. And after that garage trip broken, no reaction sort of came in terms of garage, and because of that reason, the rotation was stopped. Right now, oh yes. So is Chilcott gonna do what what we want them to do? Let's see. Flash dog something. Okay, so the dog comes in. He clears short. Yes, exactly what I've been saying, right? See, as soon as as soon as you show one utility, a dog, a flash, this rotation will come in, right? Because because you show no presence here, you took garage, and then you rotated back to sort of show presence A. The opponent team thinks, okay, it might be an A. As soon as this happens, look at the rotations they pulled out. Chamber started to rotate. Breach thought of rotating. Race completely rotated to A. But the the okay. So the the thing is that fade is still holding A. The issue with the dog shot is that even if you showed presence A shot, you did not take this boy out of the angle. Until and unless you take this person, you send this send him back A. 
you send him back on site the rotations will not be as hefty as before right now because he's still watching on he has given no one has crossed no one has crossed look look what happens look what happens they can go back to where they where they have to okay still this is the time wait what why what was the read okay i think there's some kind of miscommunication that's happening here right why are they coming back to a okay it's a mistake on the side of reckoning they don't have to come back they, they, they there's no reason i feel it's sort of some kind of miscommunication or something but again and this is the best time that chilcott can hit again uh chilcott did it well rg made a mistake and they pulled it off on it okay so the defensive alt comes in to stop b i guess again very well done by very well done by chilcott here they nailed the timing of the rotation they did everything i think it was um miscommunication on the side of rg uh if, if no one has crossed uh, even after the utility five seconds it's obviously going to be so you don't have to rotate and sort of make the defense weaker okay Pr very well done by chilcott this is what we wanted them to do uh sort of show presence a late so you can pull out some rotations out and that worked out for them really well and i think they win this round yeah Okay, very good round by Chilcott. Let's see the change up that comes exactly. So let's see that the change up that comes up with our uh, reckoning now. Now Chilcott knows what's happening, right? Chilcott knows that we have to show the same presence out. If we show presence, the rotation is going to come out. So uh, the defaulting becomes very easy. Also, it's sort of uh, buy enough to buy next round for RG. So Chilcott has a good advantage to make it a 5-3 uh, because their economy is looking pretty solid for the half. Okay, immediate fighting mid. Okay, so it's 100% a read I think from Chilcott. They know that whenever whenever RG equals, they like to fight mid or something because this TP on the left. Um, uh, you could you could simply see that this TP on the left means something that you want to peek together. The flash comes in, blind comes in, and uh, Omen is just doing a sort of insane to take space. The smoke, ooh, interesting, interesting by Chilcord. Are they are they planning to go Acon? The stun seems looks like it. Okay, they push the other person back. The smoke comes in here. He clears back of side. Very good, very good utility usage by Chilcott here. A very good um, sort of... Oh, he misses the... Is it a one? It has to be a one-way smoke, no? Yeah, it was intended to be a one-way smoke, but again, sort of uh, wrong smoke, but again, uh, works for them. It doesn't really matter here. Let's see the retake by Reckoning. It's still doable, right? Will they... Oh, no, it's an econon. Uh, it's, it's not that difficult. Only one gun, two... The flash comes in, good flash, good stun, um, when car peaks. Mm, sort of alone. But yeah, I get it. Yes, the opera, the flash comes in. So he's packed with, uh, he peaked with the flash, so uh, not his mistake. And Archie is doing insane. The kind of economy damage they're doing. Oh shit. Oh no, no. Wait, wait. Okay, so the thing is, guys, RG has, uh, it's an eco round from the RG, and till now, it's a 5v3 situation. No matter what you do, you being chill caught, you do not want to lose as many guns as you did right now, right? So, you want to save your economy for future rounds, and a very good score... Uh, bought out by uh, by Chilcott. We know that the economy is pretty good on on the side of Chilcott, but again, it could really be better if you do not lose these players. So losing such so many players against an eco is sort of a mistake, right? I mean, things like these are not required. Like why? Uh, there was a high chance that RG could have taken this round by these sing singular picks. Okay, now you look at the economy. Imagine if they imagine if they all survived, right? It's five v three against an eco. You play that well, or one survived. Their their economy is like five k, right? Right now, and it's and you are all set for the half, right? You don't have to worry about it because if you look at the economy of RG, you are pretty you are pretty damned, and because it's gonna be a third round bonus, so I think only two people will be able to buy next round. So RG will be forced into an eco round if Chilcott wins this round and look at the economy that Chilcott would have right okay so now uh, a flash comes in see takes the person out of the angle uh, now they leave opera to hold that they know that someone has been um, someone has been you know continuously taking C information again very well played by Astra he knows that he flashes out he is expecting someone to be holding this angle will he peak this important okay he takes that information uh, very good chumpy sort of spots one and then falls back now he would not pick again uh, very well done by astra not picking that angle again and again because he knows someone is holding there okay so breach fade combination in in garage 
as soon as the trips get broken, he would siege, he would flash and fade would peak. Seems like it. Uh, one player holding A passively. Okay. So after the after the timeout, we don't see much being changed from any of these sides, right? Again, especially RG is following the same concept. Now, will Chilcord, understanding from how well they performed that round, will they do this? Will they take this guy back? You know what? Just one smoke here is also enough. Okay, so the prowler comes in. Clears garage. Now, this is the perfect time for Chilcott to do what they have to do, right? This is the perfect time to show presence A and go back garage. The flash comes in. Chamber is still holding long. They have to, that's why Fade is so strong on this map, right? You can literally prowler him up till long and he has to TP back. The dog clear shot again and Bad Love should be getting, yeah. Yeah, but a very good trade. So he overstays and very good trade coming in from Chilcord. He capitalized on the mistake that Chamber did. Uh, overstaying a little bit. Fade out, defenders Fade out comes in, immediate instant retake. And I think, oh, wait, uh, Chilcord hitting their shots. Pretty well done by Cliff. And they are expecting this. Oh, they're expecting this breach out and they went under heaven. That is so well done by Chilcord. But this flash was insane. This flash was everything, dude. What? What? Oh my God, this is insane. Okay, guys. So both teams played well. The only mistake was, okay, guys. So the only mistake is, because you know that someone is holding long continuously, right? Uh, especially Chilcord is not getting that information too well. But you, it, it, it's it's obviously from the setup that we could say, right? And having this dog shot does not do the work, right? Even if someone is short, it's easier to clear short than it is, uh, you know, than the, the, than long in terms of against an opera, obviously. Against a vandal or any other gun, it's easier to clear uh, long, right? But uh, uh, than short because short has so many angles and all that stuff but like in terms of long uh, because you know that th they have been opping so it's pretty pretty standard that they've been opping long you can see from the previous round also that someone is holding a long continuously so you need to uh, I, I'm, I'm saying this again and again you need to get this get this space out out of here right you just need to send him back from this angle no excuses again um yeah, and then just comes in good utility usage though. Uh, I think the fade ult immediately comes in. Insta retake by sort of um, insta retake by retaining again a good retake, but this flash was everything. Again, Chilcott did very well. You see, Chilcott did very well expecting the breach ult. They did very well to go under heaven. You see. <laughs> expecting they did pretty well then this flash jump oh my god look at that confidence insane insane run by cross it there good util usage though um good good round by both the teams again now the economy the the eco round where they lost so many guns is now hurting chilcott now right and the but, but the best part is that rg's economy is these three people cannot buy next round, right? So RG's economy is also uh, at a shit all, right? And I'll be circling all those people who won't be able to buy next round. So all these people cannot buy next round, right? And uh, I mean, if if Chilcot didn't lose that many rounds, they would have one more one round extra buffer, right? Um, but okay, um, okay. So now, so the pretty standard by uh, reckoning. Now instead of sending the opera long, he. Um, they, they send them short and now one TP is in the cubby now it's I'm curious to know if they're expecting this I think they are right looking looking how he's holding the angle no they okay so Opa gets one uh, will they expect long they should Astro smoke comes in Omen oh, insane kill insane kill by Techno good very good clear by him Um, just I mean because he knows that opponent was just shot. Oh, unlucky. How though? But okay, did he not? Mm, wrong TP. Oh, gets punished. And with that punish. Oh, bad love is crazy to peek that again. No way he peeks that so early. This is too much. This is too much by him. You don't. You don't have to do that. 
th- th- this is like way too much to sort of uh, you know come in that uh, peak that again so soon and good reaction by R- R- RG so v- very good reaction by him so he knows that so much presence in b- is being shown a so i'll just take space c and especially when chamber died right so all the rotations of fade and breach come, came in towards a and but because no presence sort of continued from the side of chill cord again they could have con- they could have been contacted or whatever but they decide to go back because they're expecting this rotation to come in which is a very good decision by chill cord again these people are holding a they know not, uh, everything can happen hirsch is just holding this now i'm curious to see when does he hear this okay let's see i'm curious when he hears a step oh yes so here okay okay so again see okay a step is being heard here as soon as the steps being heard you would immediately see the rotations common right and if he gets he he needs to get one here yep 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 very well done ma'am good good reaction by him to sort of uh, come see long okay now chill cord on and eco Yep, they are on an eco, and we have been seeing that whenever they eco, they love to do B, right? They love to do garage B. Smoke comes in. They're faking this. They're faking a garage smoke. A smoke comes in. Silong also to take that space. Yes, smoke comes in. Walk-in comes in. Silong. Oh, he's he's taking the orb. <laughs> he gets him through the smoke. Pretty good, pretty good by him. Okay, what do they? Ah. Oh. Hmm. What else could have been done here, guys? I mean, I mean, see, after all this happened, your sky already rotated here, right? why not before the peak you do this why not you do this before the operator peak imagine the doc the doc comes in operator takes a shot now your opper is posted there and now he gets the pick playing together right a uh, mistake by chilcord again he tps back let's see what his reaction is will it will he take shot he has to probably wait how did wait what how is he there so soon Oh my god okay as soon as the dog comes in he starts to push b so good 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 sort of taking space good very being very proactive this is very good they cannot expect flank this fast right so he gets punished and he gets punished in by space for his chamber to sort of settle down oh very good round by rce on the map on the map haven right Okay. Uh, okay, a good C push. Uh, uh, sort of a good C push by RJ. The trade comes in. Son is just going alone. Huh? <laughs> okay, there has to be something, right? Okay, so the dog comes in. He clears garage. Oh, okay because the breach was stunned so he came that fast to punish breach but he did not expect fate to be there and they both peek together and he gets punished yeah, obviously uh, he wouldn't he wouldn't do that right okay so now um so the smoke comes in the prowler clear see long they know still someone is see again the same thing is happening rg is just holding a alone and that is the reason why you see so much manpower on the other side even though chilcott nailed it in an eco round they did not realize what what went good for them right and usually what happens guys is that whenever you are failing in a setup things are not working out and you do some utility usage which sort of works out you you are able to pull out rotations pretty well then what happens is yeah so it becomes uh, it becomes important for you to capitalize on that right you notice something you keep following it uh, you do Okay uh try to Okay So try to just do a contact play uh, didn't really work out the smokes are a little late or the the smokes are a little late or the call was late or the or the walk in was early um, but whatever it was uh, sort of gets punished This Kyle comes in spots one there he 
Okay, Rio is expecting this push very well, right? He knows someone is out there, so he does pretty well in not peeking alone. Look, look how well he's playing this. This is he's he's doing everything. <laughs> he is doing everything. This is so good by him, right? He is he's not ready to fight alone at all, and he knows someone is pressuring him, so he's just playing playing very very passive, and he's buying his team to sort of take the whole B because the manpower is now uh, distributed, right? So well done by him. Okay. Oh, very a good a good breach out. A good breach out comes in. Will he expect him on the right? He expects a little bit, but oh, still gets punished. Okay, a very good good play by Sky too, right? Um, he knows that breach has his ult. He's holding this. Omen is there to help. So his work is to sort of just stay here and pressure them late. Uh, pressure them late if no one peeks him, and also try to punish uh, Fade here. So good positioning by Cliff, and but but uh, unlucky that he gets punished. The techno comes in time, takes one down. Two v one situation. The time is pretty low. He needs to. He needs to survive here. Is there time? Yeah, there is. Unlucky, unlucky. A uh, good util usage by them, honestly. Okay, let, let's watch this again, right? So he gets punished. I think they they handled this pretty well. This is a very important kill by Techno. Um. Yeah, unlucky. Uh, Fade just running in, sort of using giving the siege. Yeah, unlucky man. Okay, it's okay. The time was pretty low, but. Mm. Okay. So the side change now. Let's see how the defense of Chilkor looks like, and also the attack of RG. We are seeing. We are seeing. A heavy A from both sides, right? Okay. Okay, uh, let's see how the attack works. Okay, so RG is just walking in A, taking A slowly on contact play because much, not much util is being used. Chilcord is also not interested in sort of, uh, you know, uh, Chilcord is not interested in rotating, which is very well done by them. Uh, he They keep Rage on, uh, Rage, Rage, Rage on A and uh, show presence in Garage, Smoke comes in, Smoke comes in, Prowler comes in and Okay, and very, okay, very good reaction. They're expecting this so well, right? They know that they're showing heavy presence get out and is so out of B, he punishes them. After this fade just was running in towards A, they expect them to come A. Um, now they will collect. Look, let's look at how the how the um, retake looks like. Now, okay, so raise. Okay, very well done by them. Very well done by them. So they are expecting them to retake. They know that uh, RG loves to play together. So they know that they're going to retake. So he does that pretty well. Look, look, okay. Guys, so this... Okay, so this is a very calculated push, right? What happens is he waits in the smoke. He waits for the breach flash. He comes out, tries to kill one. He puts the nade there. After the nade, right? After he puts the nade... He pushes them back. And, and buys time for himself to get out. You know what is the most important part? He compels Chilcord to use their Sky Dog to clear this. Can you imagine? This would have been for free with them, right? But because just because of these two utils, a flash and a nade, right, and this presence that was shown, now Chilcord is compelled to sort of take this space with the Sky Dog, which means that much utility will be used before than after while retaking, right? So the dog comes in, uh, face the dog, okay. And he goes back default. Finally, the retake comes in. Ooh, insane shot by Venka. Uh, stun comes. Ooh, what? Very well done by Chilcott. Good utility usage. They know exactly where to peek. They are very confident in coming in. So they have practiced this retake pretty well. Uh, he's trying to stick the defuse. Uh, 
इंटरेस्टिंग स्मोक टू क्रॉस वेल डन बाई चिलकॉट वेल डन आई वॉन्ट टू सी दर पोजिशनिंग ऑन अ बाय राउंड सो ओके दिस इज एन बोनस राउंड डू दे डू चिलकॉट डिसाइड टू प्ले टूगेदर लुक्स लाइक two people playing see long the early flash comes in pushing neon ahead letting neon take a space sky taking shot with him the raid comes in forces him back the fate prowler showing a lot of presence denying amen very well okay so now chilcord has denied amen this is this is the first step that they have completed right so this is the first step on any sort of a defense with this setup that you uh, deny them a control which is very well done by chilcord now let's look at the rotations how are the rotations looking like when will breach rotate बॉक्स बोनस For a bonus, yeah, this this damage, any damage that you do is pretty good, right? Um, but I I don't like this. So the issue with the issue with this round is that if you have taken a, you have denied a so much, right? If it was a read that RG takes a back, then this makes sense. Otherwise, it's a it's a wrong play. Then what you do is cham uh, chamber uh, sorry breach rotate C, right? and you leave b for retake because you have two players pushed a right so you can any time put fast pressure from the window and in this situation what you do is you ask breach to rotate and then breach omen and sort of chamber holds this area that could have been sort of better better setup uh, but okay uh, i get it you want to play together more in sort of an bonus round and yeah um, so again bonus round not reading into it too much let's look at the buy half armor operator oh he half armor operator and okay let's let's mark the people who won't be able to buy next round let this art finish or it will never finish finally okay so all the chill cord cannot buy and one player from rg cannot buy so it's a very important round for chill cord a very very important round Okay, goes long. The smoke is taken out. To okay, the timing of smoke is really good. Just eliminating this slight, this small angle to sort of have him stick in here. Interesting. Reckoning just cuts the voice, and that gives the sense to chill core to sort of you know. uh that they might be rotating and this is very important so you don't have in, in any information on the map right now and that is why you see neon just trying to peek alone trying to see what information he gets he spots no one he spots no one garage then why did breach come back to b Oh, so I think they are heavily dependent on the retake, Chilcon. No, they are playing this fully on retake. They don't care. They're like, "Yo, come, eh? We don't care." Even after the information, as we see. 
Let's see how this retake looks like. They are so confident on their retake. I'm I'm so sure. So smoke comes in long and short both. We should see a okay after shock comes in, flash comes in. Uh, RG is just denies the retake. They handle it so well. Wait, what went wrong? I want to see. Interesting. Omen flash comes in default. Okay. Oh, is it the aftershock in city? Oh, okay. So do you know what happened, guys? The aftershock in the city, because of that, only Neon was able to reach site and others were not able to enter with her. The jump from the heaven is also late. This is interesting. Why is the jump so late though? I mean, shouldn't the jump be now? Okay, it's a breach aftershock that sort of uh, punishes them not to retake and also a little late jump from heaven. So it's a... Um, Let's see uh, what happens in terms of um, what do they want to do, what do the change up they want to do, it's an eco round, very important round, they don't want RG to get on match point and RG's economy is just booming, like they are okay for like the next 3-4 rounds, right? Uh, okay, going aggressive C, good call, you need to change up something, so you take C aggressively off taking C, you push them, RG decides to just run A after so much presence in terms of C because they hear one person shooting, they hear one person taking the op so they know at least two person have pushed C or one person will be holding A so B needs to be, has to be weak right and they simply go, okay now this is pretty interesting let's see, I'm not gonna, okay I know something about The, the play style of these teams but I'm not gonna men mention it otherwise it will like sort of okay so it's good against an eco. Okay, uh, RG in match on match point. So they have seven chances to close this round. Seven chances to close this game, right? Aggressively taking C. So I think RG thought that last round they took aggressively C, which didn't really work out for Chilcot, like they didn't get nothing out of it. So probably just getting that breach or guaranteeing that they would have breach all this round for retake, um, which is pretty good. Now they take C, but they push them back. So they know that they are not C and also get a pick. So this is an insane push by them. It played out pretty well. They should be expecting him long. Oh, bad love, really well checked by, oh, good TP. This brawler is so good. Yeah, unlucky. Good setup, by uh, good setup, budget got right? No questions, no questions there. So because they know so much presence, C, um, so much presence, C by reckoning, and that is the time when they buy to send these people A, right? So it's a, it's a very good sort of a very good push by them, and sort of taking A back from them, right? Okay. Uh, Yeah, and just uh, unlucky that they get punished. A chamber just comes and uh, sort of checks it. You know, after that the rotation comes in. Will Chilcord win this round too? Or oh, no, it's very well played by RG, I think. Wait. No, Chilcord can still win this. Yeah, Chilcord will win this. Yes. You know what? Why did I say here that Chilcord is going to win this? You guys tell me. You guys write it in the comment box that why is it that by just looking here I can tell that Chilcord is going to win especially even when even when RG looks so insane in terms of positioning they should win this right I, I don't know though they still lose wait 
They should be winning this, no? The time was very... Oh, this is unlucky. Yeah, I mean, they should have won this. They played well. They cleared both of these pretty well. They cleared, they punished the city. They punished the... <laughs> Battle was so mad. Okay, so they punished this they punished that uh unlucky that they were not able to win a good round a good game by reckoning so we could see how reckoning plays and how sort of chill cord played in this game now after looking at this match they should be making some changes in terms of their play style on haven um we'll see okay a uh, good well played by both teams we have a good idea about how both teams play